Hey guys, I'm Niasia and this is the Niasia and Cliff Mecca channel and this video is all about should I go gluten free? If you're interested in my story and why I want to go gluten free, I don't know if I should but I'm thinking I should. Stay tuned. So what I was thinking was that I go gluten free because okay one night I was making pasta and I make pasta a lot. My children love pasta. And um, I made it with um, no meat, because um, we don't eat meat. I made it with just sauce and pasta. Not gluten-free sauce or anything like that, just organic pasta and organic sauce. Um, I always add garlic, I add um, lari seasoning, and um, Himalayan pink sea salt, and some pepper, that's it. And some sugar, so not white sugar, um, raw cane sugar. Yeah, so I added some raw cane sugar and then um, that's it. And we had a side of salad. And that day, that particular day, I just made some shrimp too. We eat seafood. Well, not all, not everybody in my family eats seafood. Some of us do. And I made some shrimp. So I ate that with the shrimp. And my after that, my stomach was just weird. It was so gassy and. I do suffer from like gas pains depending on what I eat, so I have to be careful what I eat. And um, so I, usually I just take some ginger ale or ginger tea or something like that, and it's good. And but that night I was just like, oh man, I can't keep going through this. I know I'm older and stuff like that, but this is crazy. Like I don't want to keep going through like having gas pains. It wasn't like you know some gas pains get like really like really like painful but it wasn't painful it was just very uncomfortable I like I felt my stomach I felt like I felt the bubbles and I was just like is this the shrimp I love shrimp I always eat shrimp I mean well I haven't eaten shrimp in a while but I eat them every once in a while so I remember talking to one of my friends my daughter's dance teacher and she was telling me gluten could be you know the problem because we don't um do dairy um, well, a little, we do a little bit of dairy, but uh, we don't drink milk. Um, I already, we used to eat cheese. That was the main thing that we was like trying to like get rid of. But finally I found a non-dairy cheese, soy free, that tastes good, finally. So now we don't eat cheese anymore. Um, I have to show you that. If, I, we ran out, matter of fact, because this household, my children love it. So, um, so we really don't do dairy. The only thing left is for me to um, find a mayonnaise that's dairy free. Cause my husband loves when I make tuna fish for him. And that's the only kind of dairy he takes, the mayonnaise. But as soon as I switch it up, get him something he likes, it'll be no more dairy for us. All right, so I was thinking that it can't be dairy because we don't really take dairy like that. Not really, I mean, we, we did eat a lot of cheese, but that particular day, I didn't eat any cheese, so I didn't eat any dairy. Um, I had non-dairy cheese. So, um, I was like, he needs the gluten, because we eat a lot of pasta, we love pasta in this house. Um, and I remember talking to my, uh, my daughter's dance teacher, and she's gluten-free and stuff like that. She said, gluten affects a lot of different things, da 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 And I'm like, I don't feel like eliminating more stuff from my diet. Like, I already eliminated beef, pork, chicken, turkey, um, milk, um, yogurt, um, so many different things. Like, I, I eliminate, so I'm, I'm just sick of taking stuff out of my diet, right? So, um, but I just keep having this, like, uncomfortable gas pain sometimes like just be uncomfortable like I just feel it bubbling and stuff so I'm like okay I gotta change something else something else I'm right so I thought maybe it's food combinations right like food combining and stuff like that it could be a combination of that I don't know you're not really supposed to eat um, the vegetables with certain things because they digest quicker than other foods and stuff like that and I'm like I know I'm getting older but man this, this shit is getting too complicated it's like you gotta be a fucking agriculturalist, chemist, doctor, healer. You gotta be all these shits, you know what I'm saying? Just to eat and stuff. Farmer. But anyway, um, so I'm like, okay, let me just start with gluten. I don't wanna get too crazy. So 
Today I went out and I bought this. I love pasta. So I bought plant-based vegan pasta sauce. And I just realized it said Balganese. I don't know what the hell that's. But anyway, I, I bought this. And I was like, let me taste this. Because I didn't feed it to the kids because they don't be eating everything. They're going to be like, some new shit now, Ma? Come on, man. So I said, I'm going to make it for myself first. And if it tastes good, I know they'll eat it. So I added my regular seasonings to it. And came out really good. Um, so I had to find the pasta. And this is the organic gluten-free pasta. Um, it's not focusing. Whatever. This is the organic uh, gluten-free pasta. 100% organic brown rice. Um, pressed with bronze what? Oh, anyway, um, the fuck this was me, but <laughs> so, but I ate this with the vegan pasta and I mean the vegan um sauce, and it was good. It was really good. I put my regular seasons in it. I put my vegan cheese in it. Um, it was really good. So I was like, okay, now we can we can change we can change over because it tastes the same. It's just without the gluten. It's no dairy in it. I don't think better not be no dairy. And so, um, and it was really good. So my stomach, I just ate probably like an hour or two ago. Probably like, no, I ate around six. So I, whatever time it is now, I don't know. And so, and my stomach is fine. I don't feel that bubbling sensation. It's fine. And I bought a snack because my kids love like certain snacks. And you know, when you're trying to go healthy and stuff like that, you, you get into this mode where you want to get all this, healthy junk food but it's healthy junk food is sometimes not always that healthy right so um my kids don't eat a lot of junk they um eat just certain kind of snacks and stuff like that all the time like organic i don't even want to mention it because i know it's not the best kind of organic snack so i don't want y'all going out there looking for that and then buying it and y'all getting addicted so um i bought this today um this is a bobo's Bobos, okay. Boo boos. I don't know. Oat bites, original with chocolate chip. And I'm looking at this thing, like the package. I don't know if y'all can see it real good, but it looks nasty. But I really needed something to snack on because I like to snack, but not after a certain time. But I like to snack, and I don't want to snack on something that's going to make my stomach feel gassy. All right? So it's vegan and it's gluten free. And I said, vegan and gluten-free sounds like it's disgusting. Plain and simple, right? Non-GMO certified. But I was like, I'm going to try it. I mean, I like chocolate chip. Can't go wrong with chocolate chip. Um, chocolate chips. You can't go wrong with chocolate chips. And I didn't see. It says it contains coconut and not milk. So I thought that would be a good thing. And it came in these little packets like this. And um, came in those packets like this, and it was actually good. It wasn't that bad at all. It was a different kind of texture to it, but it wasn't that bad. So that was my night. That was my snack. That was my dinner. So now I'm gonna change over the pasta for the kids. They are gonna like it because it came out good. I had no problems with it. My stomach was good. Um, gluten is not good for your stomach, you know, messes up your digestion and stuff. Well, some people it affects, but some people, I guess it doesn't. Um, but I mean, that's it guys. Let me know if you have troubles with your stomach too. And now all of a sudden you can't take certain things because, you know, shit didn't change because what I could eat before when I was younger, I can't eat now. It was just like, what the fuck is going on? What are they putting in the soil these days? Like, damn. But anyway, um. The food is just not the same from when I was growing up. I'm 43 years old, okay? So the food is not the same from when I was growing up. It's just not. It's just different. But anyway, thank you for joining me for this video. Um, let me know what y'all do with y'all stomach when you get gas pains. You drink the ginger tea. The ginger, did you change your diet over? I'm tired of giving them shit. Ah. Come back for the next video. Subscribe, like, share. You know all the things YouTube wants you to do so your video can get out there. Sometimes people don't even see shit. Anyway. See you next time. Peace and love.